Welcome to The Ref Show. It's about peaks of achievement on this uh, programme. One of our guests is back from one of the highest mountains in the world, one of our panel, Mark Halsey. Congratulations on peaking on uh, Kilimanjaro, a referee at the top of his game Amazing. for the Prescott Foundation. Keith Hackett, you and I have done nothing like that whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but England have won the World Cup, the under-17s, and guess what? The manager is the son of a referee that you two know. The Steve Cooper, Cooper, the manager. England 5, Spain 2 in the Under-17s World Cup final. And you know Steve's dad, Keith Cooper, well, you two. Oh, I think yeah. uh, strong personality yeah. um, as a referee. Well-liked yeah. uh, by everyone. Really nice guy. And uh, when I first got the news that uh, Steve was his uh, son, I went, wow, that's yeah. terrific. And, and he'll be over the moon. Yeah. That his sons be. achieve but, but that success. But he was a good referee as well, wasn't he, Keith? He was oh, he very, was a good very, referee. Players, I mean, players loved him. Very yeah. good referee. Good communicator. Yeah, good, yeah. He had this wonderful ability. I think it, it's beset with lots of Welshmen uh, to light up a room, either with the singing or with, uh, as they did as a group <laughs> of referees at conference. But also, uh, he talks a lot of sense. His knowledge of the laws of the game are really good. I mean, my son's been out there, obviously, because he's got a couple of players out there for yeah. playing for England. He was spent the, the evening with Steve Cooper and he said they had, a, they had a good night. I wonder about the under-17s. You know, they, they were entitled to celebrate fully, let's say, but well, let's not advocate a no, full celebration. No, no, there was, However, there was, it's was, difficult. How much Coca-Cola did they sorry, drink? My son did say they didn't have any beer, so uh, they, didn't, right. they didn't drink. So, you know, but, I feel a wee bit sorry yeah. for them because <laughs> all the panel here uh, did at that age, I think. <laughs> I think we, I think, yeah. But on an organised trip like that, you don't. So, yeah, played um, good football, Alan. They yes, the team they did. played yeah. really well. They played like England, they did. Uh, our, our strengths of the English game, I thought. Yeah. Let's just hope that our senior team can replicate that in Russia next yeah. year. Let's hope yeah. so too. So congratulations to all the England under-17s and to the Cooper family. It's a Correct. fantastic Excellent, achievement. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a special programme, I think, at some point, uh, celebrating the achievement of the UR, the ref team, including Mark here, in summiting uh, Kilimanjaro, uh, one of the, what, 20,000 feet, and you'll hear a lot more about that in the, in the coming weeks, and raising money for the Prescott Foundation. Yeah, yep. and battling people battling cancer, that's what yeah. it's all about. Mm. Yeah. Great cause and, and a, a great effort too. Let's have a look at the main highlights from the Premier League. I think probably referees had a, a good weekend again in the main. The big one was Manchester United Spurs and 1-0 to Manchester United and John Moss I mean it's a statement that John Moss was appointed to this game yes. for starters yeah, of his I, improvement this season yeah he has improved I mean I've, I've been over the you know, past couple of years been very critical of John um, because he's not he's, he, he's, he has one good game and he has five or six in different games so mm. I, I think I'm, I'm pleased that John's now adding a bit of consistency week in, week out to his games. And that's, and that's all you can ask from, from, from a referee. And mm. he seems to have, um, whether he's had a sort of a, a, a little kick up the backside because he seems to be managing situations yeah. more now mm. than before. Like the last couple of seasons, it, it, it wouldn't take him long to bring out his yellow card. And yeah. he sort of managed games with issuing cautions. But one yellow card, one yellow card that, in that game. That's yeah. And that was, for a, that was for a simulation. Okay, so, you know, he had the courage of his convictions. Mm. Valencia... I, I had one glimpse. I wasn't sh sure either way, actually. It was one of the most blatant, was it, Keith? It wasn't no, it wasn't. Uh, but, you know, OK, he's, he's erred on the side of uh, safety and he's gone for the yellow. Yeah. You know, the one thing that I've noticed about John Moss, and I'm probably his biggest critic, is that I think he's matured uh, in terms of his actions with players. Mm. I think we're now seeing the odd smile. We're certainly seeing more communication from him. And he suddenly realises that he's on the field, got to work with these people rather than fight them. Mm -hmm. uh, there were times when I thought he was going to war with them. I think this maturity, if you like, in terms of change of style, has improved his performance. Well, he's doing quite really from well. Jose Mourinho, it was well refereed. I mean, That's a compliment from Jose. That comes with, it, with experience as well, because whenever you step up a level, um, you know, from the Championship up into the Premier League, it takes you three or four, maybe five seasons to gain the trust of the players, and the players know what you're right. about, and then it, and then things become easier. Once and you the think players he's got, got that, yeah, now. I think I think he's got that now. He he, right. he doesn't he, he gives himself thinking time as well. He doesn't delve in straight away, right. or he doesn't rush in and produce a card. He thinks about it. You know, you go back to the. Um, 
the Man City Liverpool game where he sent off the Manchester City goalkeeper. You know, he thought about it. Yeah, he mm. took yeah, a that's few. Right. He took a few seconds, right. and then and then made his decision. Moving on to other games, just departing from John Moss's game with a quote from Guy Beale's blog on RefCam. Uh, John Moss reminded me of a swan gliding the surface with feet flapping like mad under the water. That was his description. <laughs> so he was serene Brilliant. on the top. I don't know about, but he was I don't know about his hard. feet, but I know his arms go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a duck. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, well done, John Moss, again. Yeah. Um, Lee Mason, Arsenal 2, Swansea 1. Uh, the only note I've made is Lee Mason does a halsey clean sheet. Got his cards. No cards at all. <laughs> right. That's unusual for Lee Mason. I yeah. suppose it's the sort of game where you don't expect many cards, Arsenal Swans, and there weren't any at all. Mm -hmm. On the other side of things, eight yellows, four for each team, an eventful game for Michael Oliver. This was Watford nil, Stoke one, and some very ugly scenes late on, uh, Keith yeah. and Mark. Yeah. Well, um, I, I have a very clear view about things, uh, and they're probably a bit on the harsh side. You know, when I was boss of the PGML, <laughs> I issued an instruction that said very clearly, hands in face, right, would be a red card offence. Mm. This particular player, Deeney, has got his hands round the head of That's his nice, opponent yeah. and he's digging his na fingers, presumably with nails, into the face of his opponent. Yes. Mm. I have no hesitation in saying that he should have gone. Yeah. Yeah, I think he, I think um, I don't think anybody who had any complaints had had a red card been no. shown. But yeah, you, know, you look in that mass, mass confrontation. I know Mark Hughes was being asked to, for the FA to look at it. Yeah, the, the, the FA will not take any uh, any action because obviously the referee has seen it. He's deemed yes. that mm. the, the the two players were adopting aggressive attitude towards each other, and he's seen it and, and, and issued two yellow cards. So yeah. they won't re referee that Can't game. Can't do it. Yeah. So, but yeah, you look at um, Ryan Poor Shawcross. You, but you look at Ryan Shawcross's is is, is um, involvement in that, and he puts his head into Sean Deeney's face. So, yeah. you know, Mark Mark Hughes needs to be careful what he's asking for. So this was Troy Deeney uh, should have been seen red in 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 that incident. No retrospective because, as you say, he's already been caught. One one learning point in terms of refereeing here. Yeah. I think first of all, Michael Oliver took the view that he would stand on the outside watch and observe. Some would go in, yeah. uh, but I think generally that practice of standing and observing is the right one. Yeah. The one thing he didn't do was blast on his whistle, no, that's it. Right. and that's what he needed to do. Needed so it's to just do. a small but point, but, but so one that other referees can learn from. But just going from what Keith said about standing back, sometimes, on some occasions, it does work to get straight in there. Yeah. Right. And with running straight in with that whistle. The whistle was your tool. That, yeah. That's your tool. And that's you your, that's your control. That's no. your control mechanism. Yeah. That's your control mechanism, that, that whistle, mm -hmm. and how loud and how you blast that whistle, isn't it? And, yeah. it, and it tells players. Um, Absolutely. The you there. It's right, yeah. Part of his armoury. Mm -hmm. Mike Jones was quite busy as well. There were five yellows in West Brom, two Manchester City, three, in which the football from City was unbelievable. Oh, Again, fantastic. I don't know if there's a talking point there. I, Rondon, was he just offside for the uh, for the first goal for West Brom? Possibly. It was well, very, very tight. Very, very, very tight. I mean, yeah. I don't know if we're the same. We've got, there was a couple of tight decisions, I mean, in, in the Bournemouth-Chelsea game. Where yeah. Chelsea yeah. had that goal disallowed now. Yeah, yeah. You know, at first look of you, and I thought he was most probably level, but that, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't choose to be calling those because they're so tight. I, I, I don't, I, 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 I don't yeah. think there would have been any complaints had that goal been given because it was no, no. it was that tight. That's now, right. you yeah. know, uh, it demonstrates How difficult. the difficulty of the running the line is at yeah. the Premier League level, and it's, they're getting a lot right, fractionally oh, right as well, aren't they? You know, I just sit there and. Marvelous. I knew that I couldn't do it, ever do it at the quality yeah. that this produced these we're, days. We're going to have the championship, and there's lots to talk about that, and the Football League in uh, part two. But just for now, a couple of uh, Premier League games to mention. Uh, no real drama, Kevin Friend's game, Liverpool 3, Huddersfield nil. Except that, at nil nil, Liverpool get awarded a penalty by Kevin Friend for... Uh, grappling yeah. by Tommy Smith. Excellent. E ex I've, got, I've, got, I've got to say, it's an absolute <laughs> excellent spot. Yeah, I, I, did, I thought that. I thought it's an absolute... How e did he spot e it? E ex excellent, excellent He was spot. in a good position. Mm. I think that, that he was in a good position. He had a clear view. And at long last, we saw a referee say, right, I'm not having it. Yeah. And the players... And it, it demonstrated how referees have allowed this to, to go unpunished. Yeah. By the look of surprise on the players, so I, yeah. you know, you go, yeah. that's the, He knew he was penalty. guilty, didn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, the only criticism I had was that, you know, why do we, when, when referees award penalties, why do we have to show yellow cards to ah. justify their decision? 
It's yeah. a penalty. Give the Correct. penalty. Pen Give the penalty. It was missed or it was saved, but that's beside the that's point. You applaud no. the referee. Oh. And just, just finally, with 25 seconds left of part one, Bobby Madley, Crystal Palace 2, West Ham 2. Palace's equaliser in the seventh minute of stoppage time in that game. Exciting well, yeah, finish. To be fair, it was in, it was, I was thinking seven minutes, the game's still going on, but no one complained about how much stoppage time they the oh. played. So it, it you play to the whistle, don't right, you? Yeah. Good, Good to see to a referee. Whistle. Good to see a referee adding the appropriate yes. length of time. Yeah, yeah. okay. And, and we have to say, so, and we'll hopefully talk about his, his brother, Andrew Madden, yes. in the second, We've got second that. part. Yeah, note about that and lots of other things, including one very unusual dismissal over the weekend. See you for part two. <laughs>